Hello, this is Joana Colucci with a 5-minute Farm Doc Daily about the drought in South America and its impacts on soybean production. Brazil, Argentina and Paraguay are expecting a smaller harvest this crop season. This video focuses on the countries for which production declines have been confirmed by statistical agencies so far. Let's take a look at South America's share of soybean production worldwide. Brazil, Argentina and Paraguay account for more than 50% of global soybean production. Brazil is the world's largest producer and exporter, producing 37% of the global soybean supply in 2021. Argentina is the world's top soybean oil and meal exporter and the third largest global producer. And Paraguay is the third largest global exporter of soybeans. All these countries were impacted by the La Nina phenomenon this season. The losses in Brazil are concentrated mainly in the southern states, where the La Nina has caused a drought since November 2021. Current projections show a 90% drop in Brazilian production compared to the last harvest. The situation in Argentina is not much better, with almost the entire country suffering from a drought, a drought too. The most recent forecast indicates that Argentina will harvest 7% less than last year's crop. In Paraguay, the situation is even more dramatic, where the soybean harvest could drop by as much as 50%, the lowest in the last decade. Paraguay exports over half of their soybeans, and their economy depends heavily on agribusiness. La Nina events favor increased rain across northern Brazil and decreased rain in southern Brazil, which has been the case this year as southern Brazil has gone deep into drought. Let's take a look at the variations in harvests across the country. In Paraná, PR on the map, production is expected to decrease 34% compared to the last year. In Rio Grande do Sul, RS on the map, production is predicted to be 33% smaller than last crop season. Paraná and Rio Grande do Sul are historically the second and third largest soybean producers in Brazil, respectively. If the troublesome weather brought about by La Nina continues to worsen in February and March, it's possible that there could be more damage to crops. As a consequence, soybean production could be lower than the current projection. On the plus side, Mato Grosso, MT on the map, the largest Brazilian soybean producer, is expected to have a record-breaking harvest. The most recent forecast projects farmers will produce 7% more than last year. Goiás, GO on the map, is also expected to have a record soybean harvest, 3% higher than last season. The Mato Piba, one area in the Brazil north and northeast, formed by the states of the Maranhão, Tocantins, Piauí and Bahia, is also projected to reach historical production levels this season. Because of the losses in production in South America, the USDA has reduced its estimate of global soybean production, and soybean futures trade in Chicago in February have been the most expensive since June 2021, surpassing $15 per bushel and flirting with decade-high levels. As a consequence, soybean prices continue to hit new highs in the Brazilian market. The average monthly cash price of soybean at the port of Paranaguá, in Paraná, has increased 17% from November 2021 to February 2022. Depending on the weather, soybean prices in Brazil could continue to rise in the coming months. For more information about the drought in South America and its impacts on soybean production, you can read an article written by me, Gary Shinitki and Karl Zulov. A link is in the description of this video. See you next time!